Recording now. Hello, true believers. Time to do another gameplay video. I'm sorry if the commentary and the sound are both too loud. You Welcome can't hear my commentary, but Legends. Apple has it. This iPad mini, Apple has it in a way where you have no control over. I, I can't do anything about mixing the sound, Smash making my voice louder, or making the audio of the game lower so if somebody in the comments can teach me how to set the sound mixing so my voice will come out clear then uh, i would appreciate it but for now i have no idea or as far as i know i, I even looked it up I, I searched it and there's no way of adjusting the sound so the microphone sound will come out clear you can do it through the editing process but that's an extra long step. I, I don't want to take longer than I normally already take. So you can take this gameplay video down. So right now what I do is I just watch the replay, do the screen record and start recording and then start talking and then upload, done. But if I wanted it the other way where I want the sound, the microphone sound to come out and delete the audio from the game so these are the steps i would have to download i would have to screen record the game like this first and after i screen record it without the microphone i would have to edit it on an editor and then i would have to so i would have to go through the game twice or so actually three times number one play it number two record the record the game number three add the sound so what I do is just I just record the game with the sound in the microphone and avoid watching the game again for the next few times. I mean I like the game, but I already played it once and I, and watching it probably one more time to do a a commentary is probably even more. Effective. So let's go to the early game over here. I'm level three, and I, this game is I'm playing with Hero. Hero is playing Argus Fighter. He's that's him over here. That's Free Sandwich. The score is zero two, and we are dying. And the, the point is that when it's important, is I'm not. Dying. So I'm here on the side lane, protecting the turret. As usual, and I'm, as usual, I'm playing a tank. Now I know you people are probably saying, can you can you play other characters? The answer is yes, but I don't know how to play them as well as this one. This one fits my my style of play. The the and I, I built him or I customized him to take advantage of it. The main feature is he's the highest hero in this game. So over here I get dead. I was able to stay alive and we have our my teammates peel them off me so here I am trying to regenerate I have to get attacked as you can see my regeneration is pretty slow for now so I'm going to need to boost my regeneration so I got to look at 34 35 now it's 33 now it's 47 see the regeneration, my healing regeneration back up. Now look, it's 64, I'm not hitting this. Now it's 77. So my healing increases as I get hit by a lower level speed, by the way. But if I get hit, hit by something hard, then I'm going to be dying more than I'm going to be regenerating. So the idea is to get hit by something that you regenerate more than you get. So level four, I decide to, where am I going? I'm going to get in the middle of the team fight. I'm trying to get myself more involved in team fights, especially when Hero and I are playing. So I don't want to leave them high and dry. I don't want to always be continuing and get see my teammates are done. So I try to see if there's some easy kills and dash in this person. But escaping. So I decided to get this tower and I get nailed by their support so i'm just since nobody's protecting the middle turret the most important middle lane because this is where most of the team fights happen uh, but it looks like we got somebody that's out of position 
teammate here and we get to secure the kill. And I get, uh, do I get an assist on that? I think I get an assist on that. And then over here I, I tell how we get our kill. Yeah, that's usually the best time to go out with the turtle. So go. Going after the turtle, our top lane is getting destroyed. But at least we're gonna get this turtle at the top lane. We should be able to get it in the game. And therefore, their jungler decides to, was gonna try to steal it, but I zone him out. And now we got the turtle. Let's go back to my laning. Gotta protect the turret. You can see there's, there's four minions. Minions, many minions going after it. Decide to push them back and push my own lane. So as usual, pushing this lane, so we can settle down. He makes this kill. Nothing exciting over here. Let's see what Hero is up to. He's over there on the opposite side of the map. Also, putting pressure on there. So we're going into the mid game now. Our skills and our equipment. We're getting our equipment. So he's laning over there, and I'm laning over here. So to put pressure on. There's nobody over here, so I'm gonna take down this tower. So I take down tower number one. Too late. He's level seven. I'm level. I mean, I'm level seven. He's level eight. But I decide to because I have some stacks. Him, but he pulls back, but his teammate comes in, it's two versus one situation, so I'm not going to pull back and not get killed. As you can see from my score, I haven't gotten killed yet, and I'm going to go ahead and to push this tower. Hero, on the other hand, on the other side, is getting a lot of attention from the enemy team. I think he's got three over there. You can see three of our teammates are over there. There's Ranger coming in, and they're going to get that So our score, even though it's four versus seven, uh, we still got secured. I think we got another secure kill. Yep. And now it's five seven. So there, a lot of excitement going on over there on that side. There's a big fight going on over there. But that was less fight. And we get another kill. So six, six versus seven now. So we're we're slowly clawing back up. And our score is close now, so it's anybody's game. Here, they're pushing this way. And trying to take that down. While me, I'm on the opposite side over here. And I'm so both at the same level. She is a marksman. And she's, I think she's going to out damage me. I'm not going to be able to see her. My, and that's not my style of play. I'm not going to be able to see most of the time is I'll just kind of harass them and keep them occupied until my teammates can Push rotate first. over. So she decides to rotate out, but and, uh oh, we, she brought some friends with her. That's what she came out for. So I said, you know what? I'm going to back up and not get in the middle of that. So I am Attack the turtle. just baiting them over here so I, I always like the situation because this is where uh, this tank has a time to get the kill. So two of my teammates come over and we get a second kill. So those two people that were harassing me so my, my teammates were able to rotate over. So my job is just to bait them until my teammates come over and gank them. So that was pretty good. Let me help this. So I'm gonna help this turtle. This person getting the turtle by zoning out, uh, providing him vision, zoning them, making sure that I, they don't steal the turtle kill. So well, here we go. I'm helping my teammate get the creep over here. So so here we go, zoning him out, middle of the big fight. I don't wanna, I don't wanna you know, escape. Are we gonna get that one person? And the answer is, do you get no? So, we're getting the team fight, we're finally ahead. We got nine versus eight. So we're going into the mid, we're deep in the middle of the mid game. And I decide to continue the pressure. We're going to be objective. Right? 
This tower is almost dead, so we want to continue the advantage. Okay, well, my teammates died, but at least I got the tower kill. Nailed, so I use one of my escapes. I have two and a half escapes that I that I can handle, so I don't die. So as you can see, I've had one kill, zero deaths, and two assists. So as long as you don't die, you're going to win the game. Yes, of course, I, it's hard for me to get a game where I lose. I don't die and I lose. I sh I'm trying to find a game where I, that happens but most of the time right before the game ends, I usually die. Uh, I usually at least die once and then once I die that one time, the game is lost. Because there's nobody there to take the damage anymore. But, and then everybody starts dying. So, I, I will try to probably make a game like that. But here we go, trying to protect this tower. We're getting some pressure also, but I'm getting it just from our mage. And I look at the map, we got one teammate that's up. But there is a team fight going on in the middle. They're going after our tower in the middle, so I decided, to, you know what, I better go assist. And since the my lane was already pushed, let me go after their lane because we're at a disadvantage here in the middle. So everybody's shifting over, hero dies, so the left, the top lane is in trouble. I'm chasing after this kill over here. Another one that uh, almost got away, and there's this one over here. And I got it. So I got another assist over there, and he comes back to life. But I think I'm in trouble because I burst into life, and nobody is around to help me, and I am going to die. My teammates are hero is over here. He, he was he he was waiting for his death timer. My other teammate was all the way on the opposite end. So I thought that I could take, I chased the kill and ended up taking the force. And I did kill him, but he had uh, immortality. And an immortality item, and uh, my teammate gets the kill over there. So, so I am just coming back to life. Okay, so that was my one death. So one kill, one death, four assists, and where am I going? My mage uh, over here, and my teammate dies, and I'm probably going to die also. So I use one of my releases to get from me, so I'm going to have one of my teammates try to help me, and no. So I tried to help out a teammate, and I ended up getting killed myself because there was no follow-up, no support. Heroes over here on the other side of the map. So that's the, the hard part. Sometimes when you, you gotta let people die, uh, you can. Uh, maybe I was trying to see if there's an easy kill. And here, hero, I told hero to stay alive until I life. So he gets there, there's an easy kill over here. They get some low level enemy. And he was able to fix secure that last kill. He pulls back and gets shot down. So I'm back to life. We're losing again. Uh, we're dying left and right. Score is 14 17. They're leveling up. They're getting their items. They're getting stronger. Leaving it behind. They're getting more ahead. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna win this game? Okay, so what I decide to do is just go ahead and push this tower, put some pressure on it. And as you can see, this person is trying to get me. And I use one of my escapes. I use two of my escapes actually. There's just a one on one. Versus their, it's actually a, like a one and a half versus one. It was a turret and their assassin going after me. Since it was just one versus one, I was able to like help our marksman or shooter get this buff quickly so he can do more damage. So there's a team fight over here on the bottom lane. Hero is on the opposite side. One of us, uh, he was soloing up there. So over here we get a kill their um, assassin. We were able to get this. We were able to snipe their assassin while they were going after the lord. So they're continuing still going after the lord. I'm gonna try to steal the lord 
or keep getting busy. There's no follow up, and I die the third time. So that was my third death. And let's see what's going on with this team fight. Hero comes in here, he's in the middle. Hey, the Lord has been slain. Good news is the Lord was slain by this character over here, but the bad news is he's going to sacrifice himself for getting after the Lord. So I am still dead. I got 15 seconds of second timer. He's still alive, but where is this person? They're both, they're, both of them are, it's a two versus two situation. And Hero and our... Uh, he's getting away and getting immortality. Is he going to be able to get the kill? Is he going to be able to get the kill? And no! He ends up dying, but... Uh, it was a... It was... It was a one... Uh, we, get, we get one kill, they get one kill. So here I, I go, I get back into action here. So let's try not to die this time. I am escorting the Lord. We're going to try to open up this lane by hitting Your this one tower. So I'm going to try to help out the Lord, clear this lane, so he's not delayed and he's going to out this tower. So that Granger that took out this, that was able to steal the Lord was able to steal the game. So that was the that was turning into the game. And I am about to die again! Did we get the tower? Yes, the tower is open. The tower is down, last tower is down, the lane is quite open. In reinforcements are going to be coming in, so that's going to be putting more pressure on the enemy team. So even though I died, at least we were able to get the turret. So Your Hero is now the on the other side of the map putting pressure. So now the objective is now to get the open up the middle lane and get the top lane also. So I told, so I told them, put pressure on the top until I get, we're behind in gold. Uh, I come back to life. I have a pretty long death timer, as you can see, 12 seconds. So he's over here. I told him push the lane and don't die. Just put pressure on it until by me time to get back. So two of the enemy comes in. He escapes. He backs up. He says there's no way he could take that. Those uh, two enemies right there. His the other our, our other teammates are over here in the middle lane. He's so low, so there's no way he can deal with that. So we got so the middle turret, last turret in the middle lane. One of uh, hero dies. He got killed by the monkey. So I so once I saw that I shift over to the top lane level higher than me but I have a release so I'm gonna be able to survive his onslaught still hitting me still a one versus one situation I use one of my dashes and wait for the to come over here so after he was killing me I turn the tables down I see I know which one he is it's three of my teams, but the real one is usually the one that I'm going to so go after the one uh, so as you can see he's over there running away and I couldn't get him because now his teammates are here there's only two of us so it's like a two versus two situation over here they're a level higher than so they're the same level but I know that so I decide to break the habit, dash out of it, so that I'm going to be getting nailed again. I get to survive and uh, died the fifth time. We're losing 22 to 27. What's Hero up to? We're getting some double kills over here, and Hero is able to get a kill and even up and get a second kill to even the to get the score even. So they're completely wiped out. So that was the end of the game or this uh, pretty much as you can see they have like look how long their dead timer is we're talking about a half a minute and here i am gonna be uh, 26 seconds so the whole team is dead this is an opportunity for hero to take out this tower look at how fast it gets this tower because he has a fast attack done and only one tower left we go into power lock and go after the tower and get the win so Hero was actually the hero of this game, single-handedly took out those enemies, wiped them all completely out. And while they're wiped out during their death timer, he was able to solo push, take out the tower with his fast attack speed. So I really didn't do anything, didn't do much there. I did a lot of dying, as you could see, five deaths, seven assists, but Hero was able to win the game and get the comeback by just that one defining moment. So this is kind of a semi-comeback game. Let me know what you think of it, if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next gameplay video.
So this was Heroes Game to Win and stop recording.